Hello, my name is Dr. Dewan S. Raja. Today I will discuss a few multiple choice questions in Endocrinology 3. Let's start. Number 1. During a neck surgery for medullary thyroid carcinoma, a surgeon accidentally removes all the four parathyroid glands. What complication is the patient is at risk for? A. Hypertension B. Hypocalcemia C. Hypernatremia D. Hyperkalemia E. Hyperglycemia So, what is the complication of removing all four thyroid glands which are present on the posterior aspect of the third gland may be embedded in each substance. So in case of total thyroidectomy or removal of middle third carcinoma, surgeon may, may accidentally remove all the four. What could be the problem? Out of these five choices, answer should be hypocalcemia. This is the answer hypocalcemia okay so answer is b hypocalcemia question number two a pregnant woman is diagnosed with hypothyroidism what is the crucial thyroid linked hormone that needs to be adequately supplied during pregnancy for the development of the fetal nervous system okay so development of the fetal brain needs the supply of adequate thyroid hormone or thyroid linked hormone so what would be the right answer a thyroxine b triadothyronine C. Calcitonin, D. Thyroid stimulating hormone, E. Thyroid tropin releasing factor. You need thyroid is essential for the development of nervous system. Otherwise, we'll get baby with creatinism. So, what hormone is essential during pregnancy? What is the choice? Answer should be A. That is the thyroxine that is A, thyroxine, that is T4, that is essential for the development of the fetal nervous system. Okay, let's go to the next question. Question number three, a patient presents with muscle weakness, fatigue and bone pain. Lab results show low levels of calcium and elevated levels of phosphorus. What is the probable cause of these symptoms? A. Hyperthyroidism B. Hyperparathyroidism C. Osteoporosis D. Vitamin D deficiency okay. E. Hypoparathyroidism Okay, so what is the choice here? Our laboratory shows low levels of calcium and elevated level of phosphorus. Patient has weakness, fatigue and bone pain. Answer should be what? That is the hypoparathyroidism. That is the answer. Hypoparathyroidism is the answer. Let's go to the next question. Question number four. A patient with low thyroid hormone level is found to have elevated levels of thyroid stimulating hormone. Which of the following best describes the feedback mechanism involved? A positive feedback loop. B. Hormone cascade C. Feed forward control 
the negative feedback loop. So, what is the which of the following best describe the feedback mechanism involved in this patient who has elevated level of TSH? Okay, but low thyroid hormone, but elevated level of TSH. So, what is the which of the following best describes the feedback? mechanism involved and such so should be D negative feedback negative feedback loop answer is D okay question number five a 35 year old female presents with weight loss palpitation and heat intolerance lab test reveal elevated level of T3 T4 and decreased level of TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone with the most likely cause okay hypothyroidism Hashimoto's thyroiditis Graves disease thyroid nodule pheochromocytoma so we have decreased level of TSH elevated level of T3 T4 so what is the correct choice among this answer should be graves disease c is the answer okay and that's all for today these are the answers if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.